Un unbelievable. He handled it like a true professional. Um, he has been that throughout his, his whole career and he provided that and much more um, during his time here in San Antonio. And to go through adversity um, like that, um, you wouldn't expect anything less. Um, and he was a great role model to young guys, to our, to our young guys, um, to, our, to our rookies, to be able to see how to handle those, you know, a, a situation like that. So it was good for, for them to be able to, to see him go through that. But um, just a, just a, a world-class professional. Did you guys have a sense of... Um empathy for him uh, being in that situation because everyone's going to wind up at the tail end of their career. Definitely. You never know how it's going to go. Yep, and you'll be a blink of an eye and then you'll be at that point um, before you, you realize it. But um, yeah, look, you know, when you, you're in a situation like this and, you know, you, you're trying to do your part to make the team better and to make this organization better um, and and he he done his part being you know not being able to play you know he got hurt earlier in the year um, he came back he got healthy um, and then the adversity came and and he was although not being able to play um, which you can imagine you know what wasn't a great feeling he, he still provided that um, input and, and impact on the team which is not easy to do um, and he didn't do it in a bad manner or a bad way at all um, so just a, a lot of respect to the to the guy and um, you know how much professionalism he carries uh, both on and off the court um, but obviously you know wish him wish him the best in his um, in you know in, in his career and, and and life as well how do you guys fill the void kind of left created by him i mean on the floor and in the locker room yeah um, probably for the majority of of this year um, the the locker room void is is going to be there um, so it's the, it's that leadership, that veteran voice, um, you know, that, that leading by example. Um, so we got to find a way for you know other guys to, to step up and be more prominent in in that role, um, you know, because you know we always talk about the big picture and, and where this organisation and franchise is in you know in terms of the big picture, and um, you know he played a part in that. Um, so when you talk about our young guys and, and where we see them in the next, you know, five, eight, ten years, um, you know, that, that's the void that we're going to need to work out how we can fill because they're, they're the most important guys for, for our future at the moment. So um, um, obviously a big loss in, in that department, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find ways to fill it. Hey, what about the game in our OKC? Uh, obviously, whenever you play those guys, ball security, real important turnovers, yep. they, they, they want to give them more possessions in there. Yeah, they're already good enough. Yeah, you have to help them out, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, just a, a real strong, aggressive defensive team. Um, plays very physical, um, and and they cause you to turn the ball over. So you're exactly right. Ball security, looking after the ball, and not letting them have any uh, you know second chance points um, off of turnovers and, and whatnot. So. Um, look, a great challenge for us. Um, I'm, I'm excited to come off a, you know, a, a victory against Detroit and, and have a chance to back it up tonight against OKC. Um, you know, again, a, a test of character for us, um, a test of, of leadership and how we can follow through. Um, so looking forward to it. Did you take that to heart the other night, what, what Pop said, that that game it can almost be a blueprint? The game the other night, he says, if we play defense like this, this is who we are, this is who we have to be. So do you think you guys kind of, hey, you know, this is... We play like this. Yeah, like good, good yeah. Games. No, we we were talking about it um, throughout the game, and you know, making comments like, "Geez, we're we're playing defense tonight," <laughs> and and um, you know, sometimes it's surprising because it's you know, it's not like we've done anything different. You know, it's almost like a, a flip of the switch. But you know, if that's how we're going to do things, we need to be able to locate that that switch um, every night to be able to turn it on and, and play that sort of defense. But um, look, competitive spirit, execution, um, being able to play for each other and, and together. That, that, that's the biggest three things I think that, that we can take control of and, and uh, you know, put forward in the next few games.